For years, there was no accountability. Now, with the help of Chief Financial Officer Josie Villanueva and the reinstituted Archdiocesan Finance Council, the church has opened the books for each and every parish and Catholic school. What they found? Some parishes and schools were better off than others. The end results, the chancery left footing the balance. For the last three years, the chancery has paid subsidies to various archdiocesan entities, totaling over $906,000. What needs to happen? AFC members Rick Duenas and Richard Antelon explain every parish and Catholic school will be assessed fees. For schools, this may or may not be translated into increased cost for tuition. We met with all the principals and all the schools and we've, we've laid out our time for funding these things and we've given the flexibility of how they want, how do they want to fund it. Uh, of course, uh, the easiest way would be to work that into the, the monthly tuition, um, maybe with the annual fee, work it into the registration fee. But we're relying on uh, the expertise of all of our principals to find out how they can best manage it. Will they be looking for additional fundraising? Will they be looking for uh, more donations somewhere else? Or will they be passing it off to the parents? And that's the, that's the flexibility of the, of the uh, of every principal for every school. The first assessment is a $25 per student per year. This will be used to pay the $110,000 in operational costs for the Catholic Superintendent's Office. In the past, the Chancery funded these operations. The second fee is a $12 per month per student assessment. That's a total of $144 a year, which will be used to fund the Chancery. As for parishes, each one will be assessed depending on their current situation. The breakdown to be paid by each parish will be shared at a later date. Ultimately, Catholics can be assured that matter has separate funding, separate sources of funding, etc. We did we are we're not increasing the assessment because of the sex abuse cases. I cannot emphasize that enough.